Let me read the genealogy, which won't count against my time because you don't have it. I have it. I'll read it for you. Ready? Okay. okay. You sure you're ready, Nadir? Off the time. Okay. This is the life of the Prophet Muhammad, Al Sira Al Nabawiyah, Volume 1, pages 50 to 52. And this comes from Ibn Kathir, 700 years after the death of your Prophet. Let me read it. It's lengthy so that you then try to explain it away. Okay. There is no question of Adnan being of the line of Ishmael, son of Abraham, upon whom, upon both of whom be peace. What dispute there is relates to the number of forebears there were from Adnan to Ishmael, according to the various sources. At one end of the spectrum, there is the extreme view that considers there to have been 40. This is the view of Christians and Jews who adopted it from the writings of Rahia, the clerk of Armia, bin Halqiya, supposedly Jeremiah, as we will relate. Some authorities maintain the 30, others 20, yet more 15, 10, 9, or 7. Now, just to make it easy for you, Nadir, I'm going to read this part. And this is why Malik, God bless him, did not enthuse over the attempt at tracing genealogy back before Adnan, meaning they could only confidently trace it to Adnan. Okay. al Suhaili commented further, we have merely <clears throat> discussed tracing back these lines accord to th with the school of thought of those scholars who favor and do not disapprove of it, men such as Ibn Ishaq, al-Bukhari, al-Zubair, bin Baqar, al-Tabri, and others. As for Malik, God have mercy on him, he expressed disapproval when asked about someone tracing his descent back to Adam and com commented, whence comes the, to him knowledge of that? Where do you get this knowledge from? When he was asked about tracing back to Ishmael, listen to this, Nadir, these are your scholars. Tracing back to Ishmael, he expressed similar disapproval, asking who could prove such an information? Who could prove such an information? Malik also disliked tracing the genealogy of the prophets, such as saying Abraham, son of so and so. And Al Muyatti stated this in his book. Al Suhaili commented also that Malik's viewpoint was analogous to what was related of Urwa bin al Zubair, who is reported to have said, We have found no one who knows the line between Adnan and Ishmael. No one, Nadir, between Adnan and Ishmael. It is reported that Ibn Abbas said, Between Adnan and Ishmael, there were 30 ancestors who are unknown. Ibn Abbas also reputed to have said, when he traced back lines of descent as far as Adnan, the genealogists have lied twice or thrice. And that skepticism is even more characteristic of Ibn Masud, these are all companions of your prophet, whose attitude was like that of Ibn Abbas. Omar Ibn al-Khattab stated, we carry back the genealogy only as far as Adnan, that's Omar. Abdullah ibn Masood ibn Abbas. Abu Umar bin Abdul Bar stated in his book, Al Anba al Marfat Kabail al Ru'wa, that Ibn Lahiya related from Abu al Aswad that he had heard Urwa bin al Zubair. We never found anyone who knew genealogy past Adnan nor past Kahdan unless they were using conjecture. Conjecture. Abu al-Aswad stated that he had heard from Abu Bakr bin Abu Khaytham, one of the very most knowledgeable men of the poetry and the genealogy of Quraysh. We never knew anyone with information going back beyond Ma'ad bin Adnan. No one. Whether relating poetry or other knowledge, Abu Omar said that there was a group of the predecessors, including Abdul, <clears throat> Abdullah bin Masood, Amr bin Maymun al-Azdi, Muhammad bin Qab al Quraithi, Quraithi, I'm sorry, who when they recited the verse from the Quran and those after them who no one but God knows would comment, the genealogists lied. Finally, Abu Umar, God have mercy on him, stated, We hold the, min the meaning of this to differ from their interpretation. What is implied is that regarding those who claim to enumerate Adam's descendants, no one knows them except God who created them. But as for the lines of descent of the Arabs, the scholars conversant with their history and genealogy were aware of and learned by heart about the people and the major tribes, differing in some details of that. Now, I can give you more, but you just read your prophet's companions say, if anyone goes beyond Adnan, they're liars. No one knows. We don't have any conclusive proof of a genealogy connecting Adnan to Ishmael. I'd like to thank you for the faith and strength to win the day.